time shut down. I love my job. What can I say? Welcome to Iguana Land. It's uh, probably every kid that I knew growing up, Greg, this would probably be their dream, wouldn't you think? Oh, absolutely. Have you walked around yet? Yeah, I took the tour. Uh, Ty's intern gave me a, a, a full tour of everything yeah, going yeah, on yeah, here. Yeah. So, Ed, 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 when are we going to build this pond? <laughs> it's up to this guy. We've been talking. <laughs> we, yeah, I said May. May, June was kind of the target uh, in our last discussion. June. It's going to be June. It'll probably be June. <laughs> All right, so one thing I saw when I was here, I really like this habitat for this hingeback tortoise. As you can see, this turtle, uh, as you can see, this tortoise can really just disappear into this habitat. Uh, he's got, move him out of these ants. It's so natural, it's even got ants. But he can just disappear into all of that. And he's got, you know, plenty of shade, but also some sunspots. Just a really natural habitat. And this tortoise can live in there just like he's got his own little section of the forest. Yeah. All right, so today I'm here at Iguana Land Thai Parks Place. Uh, watching my friends from Aquascape, Greg Woodstock and Ed the Pond Guy, I'm gonna give a link in the description to their channels. They're here building some ponds. They're building a, a water feature up front, which is gonna be like a waterfall that's gonna greet the guests when they show up to Iguana Land. And they're gonna have this large water feature in the middle. It's kind of a hangout area. It's gonna have some koi. It's gonna have potentially some fly river turtles and stuff swimming around in there. And it's gonna be really, really neat. So it's a two day build. Today's day one. Uh, so just kind of capturing some of the stuff that's happening today. And then tomorrow will be the finished product. And so far it looks really good. I'm really excited. Uh, it's always fun to be a part of the Aquascape events. Really good people make really awesome environments. And uh, look them up, man. Aquascape. So what we have going on here at Iguana Land is we have two features. We have a large ecosystem pond and a poundless waterfall. Ecosystem pond, as you can see here, is actually 78 feet long. We have an intake bay on the far side that's going to reduce some of the maintenance on the feature. So we have a pumping system down underneath a layer of aqua blocks. Uh, those aqua blocks will act as a pre-filter to screen out all the debris that's going to fall into the pond as well as uneaten fish food and things like that. That's going to suck in all the water to a centralized location. From there, the water will be discharged. One of those pipes right here is this large black three inch pipe that's going to come up top to a constructed wetland filtration system. That wetland filter is going to detoxify the water and we're going to have a sediment chasing chamber down on the bottom and different layers of river stone which will actually become home to different colonies of microorganisms. The water is going to fill up through this gravel bed. It's going to fall back into the pond as a waterfall system. The reason we call it an ecosystem pond is because everything kind of works symbiotically. The pumping system, uh, the rock, the gravel, the aquatic plantings, all these different things work together to give us the desired water quality.
All right, so I'm back here at Iguana Land. Today is day two, and uh, today's the day that you're going to finish all of these habitats, all of these uh, water features, and uh, get everything ready for the grand opening of Iguana Land coming soon. So I'm going to walk around, kind of get some more shots of what everybody's got going on. Got some buddies here from YouTube, and uh, we'll kind of see what they think of uh, everything that's going on. So thanks for tuning in, and let's see who's out. You look good. I always look good. Don't have to repeat yourself. Come on. Hi! Did, did, I, did I already miss that part? No, no it's, it's, a, it's that Oh, one. the big hand. Right, yeah, that one. What's up, man? What's up, boys? <laughs> guys. Okay, so there's an Aldabra tortoise. Did you think I'm not going to come hang out with an Aldabra tortoise? What's up, buddy? How are you doing? I'm sorry, but... Is that not the coolest thing ever? I love these guys. What an incredible tortoise. What's up, man? How are you doing? He's just walking around, grazing, enjoying some chin scratches. What an awesome guy. Woo, I scared him a little bit. Didn't mean to do that. That is some dope grandparents right there. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, right. It's okay. It's okay. Yes, oh, yeah, love her. It's okay. All right, Joseph, here we go. It's okay. Oh, man, I want to take her home. I want to take her home. This is an Aldabra tortoise, a year old uh, male. I think it's a male, and his name is Small. With an O. Yeah, it's a great job. And it's the best. <laughs> Now she tucks in. She'll yeah, tuck she's in. just a little scared. A little shy. Yeah, a little shy. Put in. Sorry, sorry, uh, She is a female Cayman lizard. So you saw those little tiny babies in this. Oop, I'm sorry, sugar. She's she's pissy. Yeah. Put in. Put in. Shrimp. Beautiful. Mom. I have a soft spot for irradiated, to be honest. Also, freaking cool. Dude, their yellows are like so bright. And they got their little stumpy legs. A little angry, stumpy little leg tortoise. I like seeing on the tortoises like the little serrations on like the upper part of their jaws that mm -hmm. like they use for. Yeah, yeah. That's a hard thing. Like you yeah, learn okay. all about the. There you go. Yeah. And it's. I got. I got how, how many? I got ten. I got ten. Damn, like a banged up one a little bit, but. Is this your your first fly river turtle, right? First fly river I've held. Yeah. Not even. Nothing. First alligator snapper. First fly river. We're having a good day. To say the least. Uh, 
little machines. <laughs> they, yeah, they have a wide range. Look at that. I like turtles. <laughs> they are really cool. Mm -hmm. So that, that's the difference in the color markings, huh? Well, uh, there's a much greater variety. Or is this a male and this a female? I can't tell, but yeah, they're, they're freaking awesome. I've raised them since they were little, little. All right, so this is it. The water truck is here. This is how they do it. They bring the water in on a big truck. Check that out. That is the water truck. That's gonna bring in the water for this pond. Fill it up. That's crazy, man. As somebody who fills it up with their own hose at their house, a huge truck doing it. How fun is this, Andy? Busy, busy, busy. Alan on her way? She's on her way. Jen's here. chocolate scoop of vanilla. All right, so these guys are almost done here. The water's in the pond and they're doing the last little bit of details, planting some plants and kind of prettying it up a little bit. And uh, before we know it, this thing's gonna be up and running and uh, Iguana Land's new pond is gonna be complete. This was an unbelievable transformation. Um, you guys all came in. A lot of you this first time here. We have a lot of new people coming out, so everybody really pitched in. This is showing that whole new generation of people that normally wouldn't be exposed to water features, what a water feature lifestyle is. Then we have the big ecosystem pond over here. This thing was overbuilt. We came in, we got 80 ton of boulders sitting here. We got our huge wetland filtration system, 20,000 gallons per hour of water flow going through this. This is gonna be phenomenal. The whole idea with this entire facility is education. And you know what, we came together, we killed it, we're ready to turn this thing on. Can't ask for anything better and it's not even five o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> Great job everybody, Great job. Time washing and cleaning everything down, but there's just so much dust and everything on a construction site like this. It's gonna take a few days for it, but the beauty. <laughs> 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 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, what do you think, Ty? Oh, this is amazing. It's not just uh, not just the pond is amazing. It's all these people over here, you know? Yeah. I mean, they're just, uh, what a great teamwork. Pretty unique waterfall. Oh, I'm gonna get emotional. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, wow. Mm. It's really beautiful, but I'm not talking about the pond, you know? It's all of you guys here building this pond for, just not me, but for all the visitors that's gonna come here. You gotta change some life. This is gonna be the center uh, attraction for this iguana land. Right? So I'm so grateful for all of you guys. You guys came here as like strangers. Now you're my friends for life. Okay, thank you so much. All right, so that's it. The pond is finished. It's running, the water looks amazing. Um, thanks to Greg, thanks to Ed, thanks to Ty. Um, I had a great time, it's been a fun two days. Uh, basically just playing with lizards and turtles and uh, hanging out watching these guys build these things is always incredible, it's fun. And I just, I learned so much and uh, had a great time hanging out with uh, Dan the Guppy Man. Follow him. Uh, Ken was here briefly. If you don't already follow Ken, and follow him. Follow Greg at Greg Whitstock, the Pond Guy. Uh, follow Ed at Ed the Pond Professor and uh, Aquascape for more videos like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch y'all next time.